Today we're gonna take apart our brand new V10F that we've been riding around a little bit and show you the inside. So you're gonna need your tools, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and a five millimeter, four millimeter, and two and a half millimeter hex wrench. The first thing we're gonna do is remove our pedal from both sides. For that, you're gonna to wanna to remove the two screws on each end of the pedal using your five millimeter hex wrench or power drill. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove the set screw on the bottom of the pedal using your four millimeter hex wrench. Next, you should be able to poke out the axle from one of the ends and slide it out. Next, you have two screws. Once you got both those screws out, you're gonna to wanna to take off the pad. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to peel it gently. Careful not to rip the adhesive backing. We've already moved this pad, so it should come off a bit easier than yours, but just wanna be careful. There should be three, two and a half millimeter hex screws behind the pad. You're probably gonna to have to poke a hole in the adhesive backing to reach these screws. So once you got those screws removed, you're gonna to wanna to remove the two screws near the wheel wheel. Now that you got all the screws out, you're gonna to wanna to take your flathead screwdriver and pry open the shell. There should be two slots on the side where you can stick your flathead screwdriver and kind of just push, push it open. And unlatch the clamp. So once you got that cover off, you're just gonna repeat the process on the other side. Being careful with the wheel because it's pretty heavy. And just take off the pedal, take off the screws and pop the cover off. Once we've got both covers open, we're gonna wanna remove the control board cover. So there's just seven Phillips screws that we're gonna need to remove. Once you got the cover off, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect the battery right here. You're gonna to wanna to disconnect the motor and the sensor lines for the motor. If you're having any issues with the control board, you just disconnect all the cables and uh, replace the board here. Next, we can take the motor out. We're just gonna undo these four, four millimeter hex screws and we're gonna do the same for the other side. We got our V10 motor right here. So uh, got a 2000 watt motor. It's got a wired tire as well. If you're needing to change the tube or replace the tire, you can consult our V8 tire change video. Once you got the handle off, you can we can remove the center covers. Just, there's just screws holding them in place on the side. Once you got the screws off, you can just take the outer covers off. You got the outer covers off, you can re remove the front light module. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove the housing for the LED strips. There's just screws, uh, they're just Phillips screws securing that to the shell. Since many of you were wondering about the active cooling system on the V10, the fan's actually located underneath the second control board right here. So here's our fan. Through uh, extensive testing, we've actually found that this was the most efficient way of keeping the ambient board temperature down. Underneath the LED diffusers, there's an extra screw hole that's hidden that we need to unscrew in order to separate the shells. So now we're just gonna remove all the screws holding the inner shell together. So next we're gonna disconnect the LED cables on the other side. You're gonna pull the shell off. And there you have it. So we got the nice new heat sink on the V10F and the massive battery pack. Hope you all enjoyed this teardown of the new V10F.